Today I'm going to be talking about what I think is the most underrated and underappreciated Pixar movie of all time, Cars. Now I may love this movie so much out of pure nostalgia, being one of the first movies I remember truly enjoying, along with having a serious addiction to collecting all the little toy cars he sold. But I don't believe the main reason why I love this movie so much is out of pure nostalgia, because every once in a while I'll find myself having a sudden urge to watch this movie, which is the big reason why I'm making this video. But every time I sit down and watch it, I'm blown away by how good it is. Now, there are many reasons why I think this movie is awesome, but I've narrowed it down to three. One being the opening scene, two being the character development of Doc and McQueen, and three, it's, it's really funny. It's one of the funniest Pixar movies, in my opinion. Now, the opening scene, for whatever reason, just hits different. Like, it, it's, <laughs> it's so sick, dude. And it's really hard to put into words, like, how cool it is. So instead of trying to describe it to you, me and Bo decided to, you know, sit down and watch it. Cars, 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 Oh, happy dude, happy dude. Okay, here we go. Focus, speed, I am speed. When I see something that I don't like. Oh, come on, I do it. Dude, the best part is when the is when the RV is like, uh. Mm. Oh, this is incredible. This is incredible. Dude, I, I'm, imagine seeing this in theaters. Dude, Lightning McQueen's too good. <laughs> He's too good. Oh. Oh, you don't see anyone fall in that. Uh. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, committing felonies, dude. Look at this. Looks so cool. I know. Last thing he expected was. Lightning McQueen! Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I forgot about this. <laughs> yeah, dude, Chick tries to kill everyone. I know. Goodbye, Leakless. Oh, other guy. Oh! Yeah, dude, Leakless kind of sucks. Here we go. Oh. Say Leakless kind of sus. It kind of sucks. Oh. <laughs> Pose for him, Lightning. Yeah, he does yeah. a little Michael Jordan action. Look at that guy coming in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then like the song they used to like for the uh, time, this song. Oh. No, 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 no tires, just gas. No! You need tires, you idiot. He is right, but he doesn't want tires from anyone that's not Guido. That's true. Why, why would you accept them from anyone else? It was else? meant to be. Yeah. Checkered black, here I go. Oh. That's so good, dude. That's so good. I like how I already know what happens, but I'm like, I'm still feeling suspense. I know. Suspense. I'm on the edge of my seat. You look like you are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Joe! It's look how long this. <laughs> yo, my, yo, the group, the Lightning McQueen groupies are looking at that tongue like. <laughs> Whoa. Because I'm a one-man show. What? Oh, yeah, right. Well, that's kind of a douchebag thing to say with your with your crew right there. I know. Yeah, dude, they don't matter. But that's why this movie is so good. Because yeah. Lightning goes from douchebag yeah. to respectable man. It's mine, dude. It's yeah. mine. Yeah. Hey, fellas. The, all, the yes, boys, yeah, the, all the yes men. <laughs> hey, you know, because Thunder always comes after Lightning. <laughs> Who here knew the, about the Thunder thing? Well, I didn't. He was, he yeah. was like, who got the thunder reference? And they were like, no, 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 I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, okay, Lightning. What what kind of cars are these supposed Like, they're supposed to represent some form of humans, right? I think they're supposed to rep No, they're just supposed to represent, like, old people, I think. Oh, yeah, maybe. Pe people who need, like, butt ointment. <laughs> Wait, actually? Yeah. That it's bumper ointment, Chad. He was like, he was like, he was like, be sure to shine up your rear. You're saying these cars represent old people who need butt ointment? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> dude, who's your favorite guy in the gang? The guy with the music, the blue yeah, dude. The boombox guy. Yeah, yeah, the blue dude. And my second favorite is Snot Rocket. Yeah, yeah. That guy's all, or Snot Rod. Snot I wanna ride it all night long. I just wanted to hit that one. Wait, so Snot Rocket's your second favorite? It's not, it's not Rod. Snot Rod. Oh, yeah. No, I could be being incredibly biased, but the pacings, like, in this opening, whatever, is incredible. I know. It's, it's just hitting all the beats perfectly, bro. Oh, my goodness. What? So, on the side, they had that old road that was going up and down, mm -hmm. but then they had the interstate, similar to how Radiator Spring gets passed over because it was, like, an old, windy road. Oh. Isn't that crazy? They were right next to each other. Dude. Here we go. I think it's about to happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Dude! Oh, this guy's so sick too. 
Oh. Dude, oh, he's, oh my gosh. It's not right, baby. Let's go. I never knew this as a kid, but these guys are stoned the whole movie. No, it's just the it's just the hippie guy. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. It's not the general. Guido. Guido. Good Guido. Good. Good. How lightning just tears up the road with the Stanley. <laughs> yeah. Their most sacred statue. It's a, the Radiator Springs is actually a cult that serves Stanley. <laughs> That, yeah, it's just him. He's just high all the time. You, man, every third blade is slower. <laughs> the only one seeing this, right? <laughs> oh, <coming>! Whoa, man. <laughs> Whoa, man. Oh, you wrecked Guido's tires. That guy's oh. sick. Yeah, that that's uh, oh, uh, Jay, Jay Leno, I think is his name, features there. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then the other racer was an actual racer. I don't know who it was. They got like crazy features for it. I think um, in one of them, uh, Michael Schumacher is a Ferrari. Really? I think I think at the end, a Ferrari goes to Guido's store and it's Michael Schumacher oh, who voices yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Now, are we getting too hyped for a kid's movie? To put it briefly, no. Not only is the opening race scene incredible, but everything leading up to him going to Radiator Springs is like perfectly paced and it's another reason why i love this movie which is the pacing of it It goes from the race to everyone talking into the pits to the race being a tie to them needing to get to california to mcqueen going to california to him falling out of mac then trying to find mac then him getting chased by the sheriff all the way to him finally getting caught it goes from this huge scale celebrity lightning mcqueen world all the way down to this small town where no one in the small town really has any idea what's going on beyond their little town and it really gives the movie a chance to to kind of develop the characters especially when it comes to sally mcqueen and doc now sally doesn't really have as much character development but she plays a huge part in the development of mcqueen and doc and in this middle section of the movie we found out that doc was a famous race car and then him and lightning kind of take on a reluctant master and a student role and this master student dynamic isn't really reached until the third act because in the second act they both have flaws which is something you don't see a lot you don't really see the master in a lot of these movies having a flaw usually they're looked at as like the pinnacle or the perfect version of what the student wants to be but in this case doc is trying to teach mcqueen how selfish he is without realizing how selfish he also is. So it makes them working together in the third act that much better. Now, like I said, Sally is very pivotal to them growing as characters, but also in this middle section of the movie, it's it's so funny. It's really, really funny. The whole second act is where the comedy really shines, you know? It, it, it had me giggling all the way through. Is your name made or do? What? Look, I need <laughs> what to <the> <laughs> What? What? <laughs> what? May Doc have mercy on your soul. Oh <laughs> All right. Dude, dude, look. Case dismissed. Yes. Boy, I'm pretty good at this lawyer and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even say a word. Oh, dude. All you have to do now is stand there and let me look at you. Listen. Whoa. What the? Ow. Did Sally just get sexually assaulted? Harassed. <laughs> Contained. <laughs> I feel like we should not be laughing this hard, I know. but it's that good. It's just so good. You're gonna fix the road under my supervision. What? This place is crazy. Man, I know this might be a bad time right now, but uh, you owe me thirty-two thousand dollars in legal fees. <laughs> what? <laughs> a customer. Taste of my homemade organic fuel. <laughs> organic fuel. <laughs> My goodness. It was stopped by Luigi's Casa della Tire. Oh! Hey. Von Dutch style, huh? Oh. Oh, honey, look. Von Dutch. Going now, okay? Huh? Oh. Nice butt. It's a nice butt. A lot of sexual assault in the yeah. past 10 seconds. <laughs> Wait, remember, remember when he's like, I'm going to be the first one on the new road. <laughs> he's like, I'm the first one on the new road. <laughs> it looks awful. You now it matches the rest of the town. Oh, oh! That was a low blow. Oh, this is where he cries. Dude, come on, Lightning. Come on, dude. What's your problem? Look how happy Guido is, dude. <laughs> Guido's just a happy man. Dude. Lightning, I'm about to smash, bro. So I thought I'd let you stay with me. Oh, not with me. Oh, oh, she slipped. She slipped she's up to nervous. what she really wanted. She's yeah. Nervous. Cone, and I'd be in my cone, and it's. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, Sally's got a dump truck, dude. 
Oh, oh wait, that's a tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. I, I mean, you made her, made her put it perfectly. Watch out for Frank, though. Frank, dude, Frank's coming in hot. Dude, Frank, yeah. Oh, shoot. That's Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Sally putting in those hours, man. I've actually never felt so bad for, like, Sally and like, everyone in the town. Oh, getting cozy at the cone. Oh, Vader oh. Made made knows what's going on. Ooh, reverse oh, reverse donuts. That's a flex. Dude, Mater's... I've never seen anyone flex so hard on anyone else. Huh. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you scared me. You gotta be careful. I scared myself scaring you, scaring me. I mean... Oh, oh this is so cute, dude. <laughs> dude, it's like in Friends. When they're like, they don't know. We know, they know, we know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. See, Sally knows there's great in everyone. And that's what's so great about Sally. Sally brought it out. And yeah. Mater. Hey, hey, hey. America! Rise up, soldier! Oh, he's having uh, uh, about Frank. Oh, this Frank dream is Frank and Yeah, this dream is wild. Ooh. Oh, chick just <laughs> died, bro. Chick is dead. <laughs> what the What the heck could that have knocked over? The piston cups, bro. That is a flex. He I filled know. the piston cup with a. He, he uses it as a toolbox. Dude, that's just his like fourth one. He doesn't care about it. Yeah. Oh, look at that shot, bro. Oh, oh. nice and crispy, bro. Wait. He has a piston cup is very close to he has a pissed in cup. I think I think that was the joke they were going for. Like a piss in a cup joke? <laughs> I think that's I think that was like the whole thing, right? Really? No, no, pissed in like in a car. Like how a car yeah, has but a like it's it's a double it's a double You think? Like they I think they did it. This is a big character moment right here, baby. Oh. Oh, I love this scene so much. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Dude, he's getting smoked by a Porsche. She's he's a race car. She hot, she caring, but most importantly, she race. Oh, I think they get a shot from across. Ready? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh she winks at him, doesn't he? Doesn't she? Oh, oh wait. She what does she hit him with? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh that's freaking cute, man. Oh, you. Gonna cry. Dude, oh, I honestly oh. might. Are you serious? <laughs> No. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> but by the end, though, I might. Oh, wait, what happens here? Oh, he sees Doc here. Yeah. Oh, he sees him drift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to go wandering off all alone. When he said alone and he held it on Doc? Come on, dude. Oh, and he slows down. This is oh. awesome. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. This is so gorgeous. Beautiful. These are good folk around here who care about one another. I don't want them depending on someone they can't count on. Oh. oh, like you? You've been here how long and your friends don't even know who you are? Who's caring oh. about only himself? Oh. Just finish that road and get out of here. Great moment for both their characters. Wait, is Pit Stop the only thing that Guido says in the whole movie? It's the only thing he knows in English, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I think he speaks Italian yeah, the whole yeah. time. The oil company's got a grip on the gum. That's Joe Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Dude, I wish he kept that paint job for the race. I know. Or like everything. It's that probably would have been not. Sick. It's probably not regulation though. Yeah. Life could be dreams. I could take you up to paradise up above. Dude, they don't miss on the songs. They don't. They don't miss on anything in this movie. Made her perfect wingman. Ready? Here. We oh. Whoa. Is that what I think it is? Oh, I don't know, Flo. I haven't had a chance to find out, but I am going to. Find. Whoa! Oh no, lightning gets stolen. Oh, he gets snagged right I here. I know. Like he doesn't even like he he's he, like he just gets pushed in there. Yeah. Oh, then he uh, gets he gets wrecked in the first few laps. Oh yeah, he gets because he, he was just thinking about yeah, he gets them. smacked, bro. Like he was like mid lap, and then he just started thinking about Sally and his drive. Yeah. Hey, are you Doc Hudson? Yeah. Thanks for the call. Oh! oh I never I never even realized. Yeah, that. he did an absolute pee pee move. Sally's pissed off at him. Best for everyone? Or best for you? Or best for you. Oh, and then Doc realizes his wrongs. And then he's like, dude, I could be a good crew chief. I could be a great crew chief. Dude, and you I know what he does? It. You know what he does? He becomes a great crew exactly. chief. Exactly. Now, after McQueen is tragically ripped away from Radiator Springs without saying goodbye, and we find out that it was Doc who made the call, 
we get another shift in pace back to the high intensity race day vibes that we had at the beginning now there's not much to say about the third act except that it's amazing like at the beginning of the race you get lightning doing really bad because he you know misses everyone from radiator springs and you get doc returning to the racetrack even though he said he never would return um, and then getting the recognition from the fans that he's, he rightfully deserves. And the movie just pieces everything together that's been going on throughout very nicely into a nice little... Um, not only that, but we get quite possibly my favorite seven seconds in movie history with Guido's pit stop. Dun, 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 dun. Sounds like Hello, a Star, a Star Wars uh, Imperial March. Simply the Speed. 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 Oh, yeah. Speed. Oh, that, I just got chills. Yeah, me too. I just got a huge me chill. Too. Bunch of bandwagons, dude. I know. Dude, Sally is so freaking hot. I don't care that she's a car. <laughs> Let's go racing. Oh, that, that is the... I love uh, that quote. Oh, yep. Thinking about that rear end on old Sally. I don't think I... I didn't come all this way to see you. Oh. Doc? Dude. I just got another chill. This guy's not a bandwagon right here. Oh no, he no, he stays loyal. Hey, Doc! Come look at this fellow on the radio. He looks just like you. <laughs> Bro, they're laughing at her? I know. But it's... she's got like dementia. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. Where did McQueen find you? Mm. Don't talk to Guido like that. You will have your chance, Guido. Guido you, you will have your chance. chance. What do you think of this? What do oh. you think of this? Only when the country music starts playing, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, oh my god. Guido, it's time. Oh, oh, here we go, Guido. I already got a chill. I know, I know, I know, I know. That was the fastest pit stop oh, I've ever seen. Let's go, Guido. Guido! Guido! Oh my word, Guido. Pit stop. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely bodied, bro. Oh, oh my. Oh, this shot's crazy. Ready? Oh. Oh. What a play. Oh. Oh. Oh no, Frig, I might cry, dude. <laughs> Don't embarrass me, Fillmore. You think they're gay? Those two? I never thought of it like that. Honestly? They could be. Yeah. Hi. Lightning McQueen told me this was the best place in the world to get ties. How about Michael okay. Schumacher? Dude, that's crazy. Oh, I mean, he cancels it out because he did kind of hook them up on the Shibuya road. That is true. Off screen. I'm sure they smashed. All in all, it's really hard to, you know, point to one reason why this movie is so incredible to me. But if I was asked to sum it up, what I would say is everything that they tried to do with the storyline and the characters and the emotions that they tried to elicit from the person watching it, I feel like they achieved perfectly because I feel like everything I'm feeling throughout the movie is what they were going for and trying to make me feel throughout it. If that makes any sense. I kind of confused myself on that one. Like just from the humor, like Doc, McQueen, Sally, everyone in the little town, the Radiator Springs vibe, the, the racetrack vibes, like from King to Chick to, to everything. It was, it was just awesome. Now people might disagree with me, and I know this is a little bit of a hot take, but I'm gonna have to say this is my favorite and the best Pixar movie of all time. You know, it's better than Toy Story, better than Monsters Inc., better than The Incredibles. And it's close, don't get me wrong, it's really close. But if I had to pick one, it's Cars. And I know that's a hot take. And I'm okay with that. Now this time through, I actually sat down and watched through the credits, which I've never done before. Or I might have, I just don't remember it. But even watching through the credits, all like the end scenes that they just kind of like threw in there to get through the credits was incredible. And I know they do this in a lot of other Pixar movies, but this one, I feel like just, it just hit different, man. It just hit different. And I'll, I'll play that for you right now. Such a great movie. Easily. That's gotta be, that's, that's my favorite Pixar movie. Dude, everyone likes this movie, but I don't think anyone understands the pure beauty no, of it. Yeah, no one appreciates it. It's so underappreciated. They're, they're always like, oh, the Incredibles are so good. Nah, Cars. Cars. Cars is the best. Wait, I think those are the, uh, I think the gang shows up. I think this is the gang. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, it's the gang. Oh, look at that dude. Look at the guy on the right. Got a drive-in now? Toy car story. Whoa! Oh, that's 
Birthday guests at three o'clock. <laughs> oh man, whoever does the voice of that piggy truck, he I'm does always oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a great actor. Welcome to the Himalayas. Snow cone. Snow cone? <laughs> oh, he plays him too. Yeah. yeah. Quite the I didn't know that. <laughs> Just get in there. Wait, this is a so. Bug's life. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. <laughs> Wait a minute here. They're just using the same actor over and over. What kind of a cut rate production is this? <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, even the credits are incredible, dude. Beautiful. And it's dedicated to someone? Wait, no, that guy wrote it. He did, dude. He really? wrote it. He wrote it and Or he, he was died? one of the writers. Bro, come on, dude. Now, my final thoughts here. Um, I can't really tell you why I think this movie is the best Pixar movie of all time. All I can tell you is that to me it's the best pixar movie of all time and honestly it might be even like top 10 movies of all time for me which which is in, an incredible honor to hold now feel free to roast me in the comments for this incredibly hot take that i guarantee 90 percent of you don't share but you know i just like i said at the beginning i just had an urge to watch cars and you know i wanted to make a video on it which is why it did take a little bit longer to get out um so i i'm sorry about that i didn't mean for it to take this long oh, but yeah thanks for tuning in check out the pod um and have a have a great day have a fantastic day everyone <laughs> oh wait did you, did you think the video was over well you would be mistaken you would be wrong idiot i'm just here to say that i just dropped this hoodie on orange and it's now available um so if you sat through the whole video you know i wanted to give you a little little early announcement um so here's what it looks like it's an orange juice hoodie because i love orange juice and everyone should love orange juice. I mean, it's embroidered. It looks like that. And, you know, you get a little little thank you surprise if you order. Uh, but yeah, it's on the website right now, along with two other t-shirts that are also equally dope. So if you want to do a little shopping, do a little shopping. And if you don't, and you don't like orange juice, I don't know what to tell you, except I hope you brush your teeth and then accidentally drink orange juice. Okay, now have a great day. Now you can go. Goodbye.